Hello everyone, Shraddha here. So today, as I told in my last video that today I will be covering whatever topics I have discussed so far. So let's start one by one. I won't go in depth of each and every topic, but well, like for some kind of revision I will do. So let's start. Topics are uh, firstly digital marketing. So what is digital marketing? Nothing. Likewise, we used to sell products offline. Then we will be doing the same on online basis. So it's called digital marketing. That is selling your products online or with the use of internet. So that's nothing but digital marketing. Next is SEO, SEM. We can also call it inbound or outbound marketing then paid or unpaid and then organic and inorganic marketing so when i talk about seo it's nothing but search engine optimization that is we are doing something in our website that is attracting people and they are uh, placing the orders and they are buying the products by themselves we are not at all forcing them to do do it but when it's when it comes to sem that is search engine marketing so here what we are doing we are either we are running some advertisement or we are uh, sharing some kind of banner or we are distributing pamphlets so we are doing some some kind of things from our side that we are making them to buy our products or we are forcing them or we are forcing them to look at our website or check our website or buy some products so that's nothing but sem that is search engine marketing now writing writing is nothing but when it comes to uh, carve your words or your thought process in like in the form of words or a small write-up so the whole process will come under writing so when uh, copywriting so if you are looking to promote some products whatever stuff you will be doing or you will be writing uh, to describe about your product or to describe your product to share the features of your product so it will come under copywriting or if you are making some kind of a story or something like that so when it comes to promoting one product so the stuff that we use to promote that product is called copywriting next is email uh, marketing so in this digital world as there are millions and billions of people so it is not possible to share each like a message in, in individual basis that is if you are sending message to me and then you will be writing uh, sending message to someone or else so uh, doing the same for thousand or same millions of people it's not possible so what we used to do we use email marketing where we just need one person uh, not personalized one generic message and then we can forward the same message saying hi ma'am or sir instead of putting someone's name and then we will be sharing uh, that mail or say that message to many people to say thousands or uh, like multiple people or whatever number we we are looking for next is inbound marketing that is uh, we like i have already shared that seo uh, that is we are not forcing them to buy our products but our website and our seo that is keyword and search engine optimization is so much like powerful that they are forcing people and they are making people to buy our product but you are not at all marketing anything from your side next is social media marketing so uh, like uh, social media marketing plays a vital role in digital marketing so when we look for platform to share or to promote our product we normally end up with uh, platforms like LinkedIn, Quora, Instagram, Facebook these kind of platforms and we call like we usually call these platforms as social media platforms or social media market marketing so when we are market some products in these platform the whole process is called social media marketing so if if i say i want to pro, um, ba, uh, sorry i want to promote some beauty products so what would be the best platform for me i'll go for instagram because there are a lot of instagram like influencers in, on instagram who used to promote products they used to buy pro, uh, products from new companies say wow then mama earth and various such kind of companies they used to um, like uh, say that i have started i've switched on this product and it's amazing and all these kind of stories so what they are doing they are uh, marketing that product they are influencer they are doing influencer marketing 
so next is engagement so yes whenever we we are doing something on social media or we are say we are sharing some post we are running some advertisement so what we normally check is engagement whether whatever efforts i have done in this marketing or say digital marketing whether i am getting any kind of engagement or say impressions or not if i am not at all getting any engagement or impression so it would be worthless so whatever stuff or whatever efforts i have made so far it like it makes no sense so i have to regular che check my engagement and if there is something like where i can improve so i should come up with this different kind of strategies and then i will be applying the same strategy and then if again if the results are the same or results are not that uh, do like uh, that i ex expected so what i'll do i will again go to the strategy and i'll again make some changes we'll see the see like the results again and then we'll do the same if some strategy starts working then i will be taking that strategy for the long run next is analytics so analytics is like say if i am running one youtube channel so what i do i used to check my analytics on a weekly or say monthly basis so where i can get to know that uh, how many people have watched my video how many likes i have got whether i am getting engagement or not whether my engagement in my channel is increasing on a weekly or a monthly basis or not so these are some of the analytics that i will be mainly concerned for so when it comes to social media marketing so if i am sharing one post say Uh, i have my product and now my uh, like my employer has asked me to promote that product xyz product like they have newly no launched that product so what i'll do i'll make one short story and we'll touch some pain points of uh, like uh, consumers and then we'll be making one short story based on that pain point and then we'll be promoting or we'll be putting my product so once i will be updated or uploaded the product and will be posting that uh, like whatever article or say post so what i'll do i'll check whether i'm getting any kind of engagement or engagement or not if i'm not at all getting any kind of the kind of engagement that is whatever post or whatever article i have written so it's not uh, like it's not well written or there is something missing or maybe i have not put Uh, like uh, relevant keywords or something like that so i will be checking the same so for that matter what i'll do i'll keep checking the analytics so if there is if it is doing well then i need not to bother anymore but if it is not at all working working in a great manner so i will be making some changes like say i will be changing some wordings or i will be adding some keywords or something like that. maybe i'll also share it in my whatsapp or in my social media accounts and i i can also ask my friends to share it because if they will be sharing so i can hit a different set of audience my list is different but when some other person is sharing that stuff or my product so their list or whatever connection they will be having so their connections are different so i like doing this i can hit an another side or other side of audience so that would be like any uh, how beneficial for me so i can ask them to share uh, my product or like put a post saying that this is an awesome product or something like that next is promotion so it's not like i i am doing great and my product is very good it has great features and everything but what if there is no awareness of, like about your products among people so how uh, will anyone like buy your products for that matter what you have to do you have to promote your product if you want a rapid like rapid penetration into the market or if you want some Uh, if you want to increase the engagement rate or if you want to get a good number of conversion so what you have to do you have to uh, like promote your product for that matter either you can use banner pamphlets or various personal branding something like that or what you can do you can also use social media that is digital marketing so you can put your products in various social media platform and uh, yeah and then you can also share it on whatsapp so like all possible channels you can use to promote your products
नेक्स्ट इज निश पोटेंशियल इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई टॉक अबाउट निश पोटेंशियल सो निश कम्स वेयर लाइक इफ आई से दैट एवरी वन इज यूजिंग पेट्रोल एंड डीजल फॉर अ वहीकल बट दैन इलेक्ट्रिक वहीकल केम इन इन द पिक्चर सो हेयर वॉट दे डिड वॉट दे जस्ट लाइक सिलेक्टेड अ निश मार्केट फॉर दैम सो दैट इज फोकस्ड मार्केटिंग दे डिडेंट गेट इन टू दोज मार्केट वेयर देर आर ऑलरेडी अ लॉट ऑफ कॉम्पिटिटर सो दे जस्ट चूज लाइक अ डिफरेंट मार्केट so where there is no competitor so they like if i talk about uh, elon musk so like if he is uh, uh, sharing some or some he is uh, like uh, making some products in a different market where there is no competitor or where there is no one in that market so it would be a niche market and as he is already a brand for the world so what we will do we will be like willing to get to know that what kind of product it is and maybe a lot of people will be placing the order within a week or say within one day or two day because they are following that person he is a great marketer he is doing great so we will be getting inspiration from him we will be understanding uh, like what kind of features he has put in his product so we can like we will be doing the same so it's nothing but niche potential is someone is touching a different kind of market which is not already there in the market so it's what niche potential next is blogging so blogging comes under inbound marketing when where we are like we are talking enough about about our company uh we are posting post on social media platforms we have a website we have a blog website where we are uh, like uh, considering one or each feature uh, like if i say that my product has five features so i will be writing if i am writing my first blog so what, what i'll do i'll touch one feature of that product now in my next blog what i'll do i'll touch second uh, feature of my product so doing this i am sharing all the features of my product in detail so if someone has like reads to my uh, blog website so if they are reading my blog so what they'll do they'll understand the products because i have written about my product in a detailed manner detailed manner so they will be understanding it and maybe they will like it and they will place the order because in the end of my blog what i'll do i will be sharing the product link so maybe they will be like the end result would be a conversion so that would be beneficial for me so what companies are mainly focusing is uh, even like not even actually uh, like if i talk about digital world so what companies are fo focusing since last one or two years they are trying to get into a digital line writing uh, like making post getting into various social media platforms and then uh, sharing blogs writing blogs setting a consistency like posting blogs on a daily on a weekly or biweekly basis then sharing post on daily or alternate basis so doing this they are trying to uh share the features of their product where they their product and whatever they have write written, like whatever they have written it's enough to share about their product they need not to do any other kind of marketing so if i am reaching out to their website and i am re reading about the product and i if i like that product so what i'll do i'll be looking for the product link and once i'll get that link i will be placing the order and will uh, like start using the product so it's a way of marketing through blogging and it comes under inbound marketing next is website so whenever you are uh, connecting with someone have you ever heard or like it is very common actually that you will be uh, like listening things like have you visited our website or this is my website you can visit our website you can get all the services or even if uh, someone is uh, reaching out to any graphic designer or any website designer so that graphic designer or website designer won't say that 
share your product description or your service description and all what they'll do they'll directly say that a company um, person will directly say that this is my website link you can visit the website and you can make product uh, like post and you can based on this website you have to add some diff uh, like one or two extra services in that uh, listing or services so they they need not to share everything about their products or services they already have a website so what they'll do they just say that visit my website that's it so website plays a, an important role in this digital world and if you don't have a website for your company so i would recommend you to make or to ask get a website designer or even you can do it for yourself like by using wix.com or wordpress so within i think three to four thousand rupees you can uh, uh, easily create your website and where you can posting your products and all and if you want a high class definitely like high class website so what you can do you can reach out to any uh, website designer and you can also connect to me i i have some contacts of them where you can get a good website with reasonable prices so yeah that's it so website plays an important role when you are in digital world next is consistency it should be not it should not like uh, you are posting something today then you are taking rest for a week and after seven to eight uh, days you are coming back again and posting something it should be like you are you have a maintained timetable or you have a calendar where in which you are uh, scheduling everything like you will be posting on monday at 5 pm then on tuesday at 11 am something like that it should be scheduled from like in advance actually so if you are doing this you can do well in social media but if you are not at all like if you are very inconsistent so i don't think that you can get uh, better results i would uh, i would suggest you to use consistency whatever work you are doing do it in in a consistent manner you can get the results and the results would be amazing next is monitoring so whatever you are doing you should monitor your work because once you will get to understand that something is not working out so you can go and uh, like make some changes small changes then and there but if you will get the final result then you will get to know that you have not get the results that you were expect you were expecting so then it would be a great loss for you because here you have to do like whatever you will be doing you will be doing it from the very beginning of it but if you are keep tracking of whatever work you are doing so if you are monitoring it so you can uh, like check that when the first step is fine or when the second step is fine yeah there is some mistake in third step so there you can make some changes then you are making that change and then this is whatever the problem was it was resolved and then you can uh, further move to next step so like monitoring your work would be a great move for uh, like to work in a great manner or for the growth of your company next is influencer ma marketing as i told you that uh, there would be a lot of like beauty uh, someone i say that influencers on instagram so you can use them for uh, beauty products or say if they are people like uh, ranveer elahabadi or beer app so you can use that person for your fitness branding or to promote your fitness products so and also if i say that revital for john abraham so something like that like some uh, selected influencers you can uh, like you can uh, select for your uh, product and then you can uh, do market for like you can ask them to market for your product next is mobile marketing so if someone is sending a mail to me i need not to take a laptop or i need not to look for my laptop then i will be turning on it i will be waiting for some minutes to uh, like to turn it on and then will it will be connected with the wi-fi it will take around i think 30 to 40 seconds so overall three to four minutes which is of three to minute, four minutes within that time what i can do i can just take, take my phone i can uh, like i can open email uh, in my phone and then i can look for the email so it's like whatever work you are doing through your mail so you need not to look for something that uh, people will be taking uh, fla like taking their laptop they will be turning and not doing all these things now uh, days if i say status so it's like people have more number of phones as compared to laptops so you can do marketing in such a manner that it would be like 
it would be uh, something that can easily open in mobile so it should not be like it you can only open it in laptop so you should take care of this thing also like reuse are responsive so if i'm opening your message in or i'm opening your website in my phone so it can easily open in my phone i need not to waste my time to turn on my laptop to see your website so it's like mobile marketing so whatever you are doing it can easily open or like uh, that is work in mobile so it's nothing but mobile marketing next is graphic designing so when i talk about graphic designing so social media marketing marketing digital marketing graphic designers all comes in a picture and i should say writing because whatever you are writing in a post it will mainly depend on the words that you are choosing say if i have to promote a word so i can write some interesting words or what i can do i can write the exact name of that product i will be using the product name but with that product name i can use a scent of some other things or some other attractive uh, words that make people to look for your post so doing this like i can do wonders with that for graphic designing so it is suggested that when you are in digital marketing world so you should know basics of writing everything about digital marketing and then basics of Uh, graphic designing for graphic designing you can use there are four to five apps first is canva very simple and easily understandable app second is spark adobe third is lucid press fourth is luca and these are some of the apps that you can use for your personal life and also for your professional life and if you are working for some companies so you can also use these apps for your uh, work like uh, for your company or to make post for your company so last is affiliate marketing say if i am uh, buying one products and i have got my name inside affiliate marketing so what that company will do they'll create a link of my name and there will be some my name or my name say s h r a w d h a is my name spelling so they'll use like s h r a 382 something like that and then they'll create a link with that uh, code that i have just sh- like uh, told so now if i am sharing that say if i uh, talk about youtube buddy sorry tube buddy so tube buddy is nothing but uh, but an a tool an important tool that you can use for your youtube and whenever you want to understand your channel growth and your analytics and everything based on your youtube channel so you can use tube buddy so what tube buddy is doing like if i like i have a, i have got uh, if i have got premium version of youtube buddy so they what they are asking uh, they are sharing my link with me and they are asking uh, that if i am sharing that link in my social media platforms and if anyone is buying tube buddies premium version from by clicking in my link then i will be getting some profit profit out of it whatever transaction someone is like uh, doing or making so that's nothing but affiliate marketing so that's it for today if you have liked this video please subscribe to my channel like share and comment your doubts so i will be coming soon uh, i think by tomorrow or a day after tomorrow i will be sharing one video for the most important answer of a question tell me something about yourself this is something that around 8 to 10 people has asked uh, like have been asked since last i think 10 to 15 days so i will be covering that question in detail because when you are facing a uh, like interview so this would be the first ever question for you so i have uh, i have uh, faced around i think 30 plus interviews so i know the answer of this question very well so i will try to do it by today or by tomorrow so will be sharing the most important answer or most imp- like the answer of the most important question by today or tomorrow so you can watch that video and you can also write the sequence whatever i will be sharing so yes that's it for today thank you so much for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe like comment and share your doubts bye bye